Here is a short trick for fast calculations, especially the calculations which involve decimals. Now suppose you have two numbers, 18.3 and let's have another one, 9.8. Now for these two decimals, I need to subtract them first. So if I have to subtract these two, I'll have to write them one below the other like this by aligning the decimal like this. Now this involves borrowing and therefore the students tend to make so many mistakes. So instead of that, let's get rid of the decimals first and think that the numbers are just 183 and we are subtracting 98 from this. In order to do so, this 98 is very close to 100, so I'll just increase this by 2 and so I will increase 183 by 2 which gives me 185. So what is the difference now? It is 85, that's pretty easy. And since we have one decimal place in both the numbers, your answer will be not 85 but 8.5. Likewise, if you have to multiply 18.3 and 9.8, we can use the vertically and crosswise. Multiply these two numbers, you get the number 24. Then cross multiply these two and these two. So 64 plus 27 is 91. Next cross multiply 1 and 8 and then 8 and 9. So 8 plus 72 gives 80. And finally we have these two get getting multiplied 1 into 9 is 9. And right from the right hand side you have 4 and then 2 carried means 93, 3, 9 carried means 89, 9, 8 carried means 9 plus 8, 17. Now where do you put the decimal? We have two decimal places in all. So from the right hand side put a decimal and here is your answer for the product. Here is another amazing short trick to multiply decimal numbers as big as say 51.63 and 440.2. Look at the numbers, they are huge, right? And we will be able to do this in a single step if you know a little bit of Vedic Maths, the vertically and crosswise method. So what do you do in case of four digits here and uh, here and four digits here? We just need to use the last two digits first. This gives us six and then cross multiply these two, you get 12 and zero that is 12 itself and then cross multiply first and last here I am taking the last three pairs so this is 2 and 12 and 0 this is 14 and then all four pairs so first and last 10 12 that's 22 and then 0 and 24 22 and 24 is 46 now having done all the four pairs leave one from the right hand side take up these three so this is 0 24 and 4 28 and then first two that is 20 and 4 24 and finally the first two that is 20 now having written all these numbers you have to start with this number 6 as the last digit of your answer and then 12 means 2 1 carry so 14 means uh, plus 1 15 so 5 and a 1 carry and then you have 47 so 7 4 carry 32 so 2 3 carry 27 means 7 and 2 carry means 22 you have a big number 2 2 7 2 7 5 2 6 now where do you put the decimal 1 2 3 digits from the right hand side and now pick up the calculators and check your answer